and welcome to SnowRunner Mod Review. Today we are looking at the new SnowRunner console mods. Well, it's not a console mods, it's console DLC Tatra Pack, which is just came out today. Now, we've, uh, you, you need an update for this, so if you haven't had an update, then it won't appear in your game. It's part of year two season, year two pass. So if you've got the pass, you will get it free. If not, you can buy it separately. So let's have a quick look around the vehicle. Well, we got it out first of all. And I was I did a review on this for my members only, and I won't be post I won't be making that one public where I thought I'll wait for an updated version and to be fair, I don't think anything's changed whatsoever. But there you go. Now I have found the steering to be a little bit off, but I'm not sure if that's me or not. Let me know in the comments what you think. So let's go into the garage and I'll show you what options are available. So we have got four different engine options, as you can see, and we have got an S plus rating, which is very rare for vanilla or DRC trucks. So that's the engine wise. We go for the top one and then we've got balance, fine tune, high range and an off road gearbox on it. And I'll stick with the off road, I think, for the time being. Then suspension wise, no other suspensions on that whatsoever. It is what it is. So there's not much clearance on that whatsoever, really. And then we move on to tyres, and then we've got three highways, three mm. all-terrains, three off-roads, one mud tyre, which are the Tagers. And to be fair, when I did this, uh, when I took this out the other day, um, the Tagers were the only ones what sort of performed in the mud. The other ones were uh, POS, basically. Right, and then move on to high power. We've got winches. So we got all the stock winches, what we normally have, then diff lock, you can buy that, and then snorkel, front facing, and a dual one. Now, to me, what's the point of a dual one? What is the point of that? And then frame add-ons, I thought we might have had a few more, but it's exactly the same. So we've got a sideboard, um, one slot bed, then we've got the frame add-on, the maintainer, which is 500 repair points, two spare wheels, and then we've got a roof rack, which would give you another 200 uh, repair points and then 80 on the fuel tank. I'll tell you what we'll have that to see how How stable it is and I think we will opt for we'll have that on the back as well Then moving on to front side where we've got the dark slant su su Sun visor angled with beacons Just like that and then we have rooftop which we got the double tall beacons roof fog lights And then bumper we've got the hunter that one's pretty cool and that is We'll have that on today, and then we've got the stock and the reinforced one. And then moving on to miscellaneous, we've just got an external horn, rims-wise. Got a few different rims, but they're all the same standard ones what we've seen before. So nothing really new there. And then colour choices. Now at the bottom, they have got these different colour choices there, which are colour-coordinated for it, which is pretty cool we don't normally get all that stuff and then you can see we've got all the other normal color options and then the standard color just there and then bobbleheads if you want any of that that's all there jobs are good in. so let's take this bad boy out and i think what we might do actually i don't want to do two separate videos so let's just do one video on all of it now i'll tell you what the steering radius on this one isn't great but it's not as bad as the Tatra 813 so this is the Tatra 805 so going inside the Tatra 805 and this one's the same where it's proper old school bit of kit nothing digital in here whatsoever quite a small cab we've got a window on the back as well but it looks the part it really does it's done a good job of the interior so let's fire it up and yeah, it looks like we've got some working gauges on there as well, just like that. Pretty nice. You've got a 190 litre fuel tank on it, which uh, isn't too bad. It doesn't burn that much fuel anyway. So that's the inside of the Tatra 805. I'm UK Gamer 88 and if you haven't seen me before, then I cover SnowRunner news and do mod reviews and works in progress on mods and all sorts of stuff. So let's go into the garage and we'll get the Tatra 8138. Now, if, you, if you've got the season pass, then it will appear just in here, just like that. You've got the Tatra T813. It should be there, ready for you to go. So let's go into the garage. 
so engine wise we have three different engines available and you can see they've got plenty of power to weight well the bar shows plenty of power to weight and we have got an s plus rating again can you believe it well they all are the two of them are s plus and s plus cool and s on durability as well so we will go with a top engine as i always do and then we have got a new gearbox we've got the multi-purpose the advanced special fine tune and then the special as well so I think we'll go for the multi-purpose. I think that has only got one low gear, but we'll give it a go. Now, suspension-wise, how this vehicle is made, you can see at the moment the wheels look a bit strange. Now, that's just because of how the suspension setup is on it. So you're not going to be able to get a raised lift on this whatsoever. If you raise it, then the wheels are going to start towing in. They really are. Tire choices, we got one all-terrain and then two off-roads and those ones they're not the best rating those ones are all okay and then we got two mud tires there which they don't seem to be okay rating we go with the MHS MHS twos and then we have chain tires as well and then normal winch wise everything what we normally get your extended heavy advanced heavy twin motor heavy so we'll have the big winch on there Diff lock, we've already got that. Snorkel wise, we have twin front facing. More twin snorkels, what is all that about? But we'll have them anyway. And then frame add ons. Now, the word is we're meant to be having another frame add on, but that frame add on isn't, is going to be part of season five. So that isn't going to appear until we get season five. This is what the word on the street is. And then we move on to a rooftop. We have the roof fog lights, the large fog lights, and then the stock head fog light, which is two spotlights on there. Front bumper wise, we've got the lattice and then the crossbar with the fog lights and then the stock one, just like that. So let's have that one, that's a bit beastie. And then we have got rain parking lights, external horns, twin horns. And then moving on to exhaust, we've got a couple of different exhaust options. And have they done that again? Is that not fixed? Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Let me go and put the frame add-on on, because this is a bug I found in the test one. Let's go back to exhaust. No, it is working, because on the test one, basically, you, if you had the frame add-on on, it wouldn't let you, if you had the exhaust, as soon as you change the exhaust, it wouldn't let you put the sideboard on which is a bit crap, so that's been fixed now anyway. And then rims-wise, we've just got the two different types of rims there available, and then colour choices. That's the DLC choice just there. So we'll have that one today. And then we have plenty of other choices. We've got all the main colours, and then we go on down to the bottom. And you can see we've got some two tones just there, just like that. And then all your bobbleheads and all that crap, if you're interested in all that, that's all there for you. Jobs are good. And so let's take this one out. So I think what we do, we'll, uh, we'll take both these out for a spin. Come on, there we go. So we've got switchable all-wheel drive and switchable diff. Now, one of the things I found when I did the review on this the other day is the steering is pants. Look at it. It hardly steers. So let's just go into the into the trailer store and we should be able to carry all the trailers basically shouldn't we yes most of them are on there i think by the looks of that so there we go anyway let's crack on now you can see that steering lock if we turn it full steering lock there i noticed it where i had it at a 90 degree and i had to do a three point turn to get out of here when it was like i was parked up like here and then thought right we just drive out and it was, it's not great at all, is it? It really isn't. But there you go. And I'll tell you what, let's take the little one first. Let's go and get that one first, because I didn't really get on with this one. This one, the, the steering of it, it just seems to be all over the place. I'm not sure if it's just me or not, but I really struggle to drive this in a straight line. It's sort of all or nothing. You get, give it, now I'm doing this on the controller and you see, it was, seem to give it a little bit and it doesn't move and then you give it a bit more and then it just goes all over the place. As you can see, I cannot drive it in a straight line. Very hard for me to do that. It's um, not great at all. So into the water.
And yeah, we're uh, all right. Let's have a bit of low with a bit of diff lock on, and that made a little bit of difference. I wouldn't be surprised if this current takes this little vehicle away. Yeah, he's trying to tip that up. Look at that. All right, we're going to make it through just about. There we go. Fantastic. So let's get it out of the low, put it into the auto again, and then away we go. Now, when I'm doing my reviews, I try and give an unbiased view, and you know, because at the end of the day, you, you, some of you might be looking to think, well, well, like, is it worth buying? And well, if you've got the season pass, it just comes with it. Um, the year two season pass, it comes with it anyway. But I, I would be a bit gutted if I paid for these. So let's go and hit the water. But the advantage is we've just had this update and we've got a DLC checker now. So we should be able to get these tweaked. And if you've got a tweaked one, then it should be a lot better. But there we go. Oh, no visible winch point. See what I mean about it's unbelievable you'd have thought this is what i found when i was driving it the other day i was just trying to drive through you know like this is the easiest bit of mud to get through and look it's struggling i'm in low everything's right and it's just not moving and of course because it's got a stop winch which isn't very wide um, wide very long then yeah so not really impressed with that let's go and get the tatra t813 and hopefully this boom did perform a lot better because I know there's a lot of guys who were after this truck. Now Zydon made one of these um, quite a while back and is available on console. And to be fair, he's done a lot better job. He really has. Yeah, it's great skins on this and what have you, but I'm just <laughs> for for a vehicle what comes from the game makers, I'm not really that impressed to be fair. Whoa. But the main thing is with the steering. So let's hit that same bit of mud again. And at least we're moving through it a little bit more. But that's probably down to the size of the tyres on there as well, which will make a, a big difference. We don't need the low, or it seems to be going through there without any issues. Well, there seems to be a bit of water in the cab as well. So take it into the auto. And then hopefully this one will get through the mud so we can well, we can recover the little 805. Right, what's the time here? Oh, time's ticking on. Let's put it back to 1300. I don't really like using these proving grounds to be fair because um, the lighting on it is pretty crap. But it's just easy for me to jump on and have a look, it really is. Right, so let's try this one. Now, when I went through with this one yesterday, it went through no issues whatsoever. Not the best though. Now, bearing in mind, we have got mud tyres on here. And we dragged that out. Oh, that was a little bit of a, a glitch on there. So let's release that. And we have put this through the first first bit of mud and yeah we're not really having any issues I'm not going to go into the OP mud pit with this because you know what's going to happen it's just going to sink down like a sack of shit and won't go anywhere so let's go into a bit of low with a bit of diff lock and see that steering it's just ridiculous the steering is terrible it really is Now, I'm not sure if that's because it's, you can't really see if it's clipping. Well, it looks very close there, but you could probably go a little bit more. So yeah, not impressed with the steering on it whatsoever. And the tires need tweaking. So hopefully, well, we know there's quite a few of these being tweaked already. So with the DLC checker being added to the game now, it enables us, we should be able to get um, all of these, all the DLC vehicles for console mods. Well, not all of them, because some of them are still banned, where you cannot have them, and that is the CAT 
and the Chevy, they are forbidden. Thanks for XD00, let me know on that. So we're not going to have tweaked DLCs of those whatsoever. Doesn't matter what we do with it. And you see, that's the second mud pit. And yeah, well, one day we might get out of here. So no visible winch points because it's got a vanilla winch, which isn't very good, really. Put it into auto, probably climb out of there better in auto. Right, off we go. So let's go and check out the suspension. Over the rocks and see how it goes. And see, there's quite a bit of movement on that. I'm surprised I didn't get any damage there as well. Which I'm not complaining about. But as soon as you get this one cranked up, it does seem to go pretty well. But like, I haven't, whoa, bit of a tank slapper there. I haven't used it towing yet to see what it's like pulling a heavy load or anything. But yeah, this one doesn't seem to go too badly. We'll go over the corner. No, we won't even bother with that mud pit. We know what's going to happen as soon as we go in that mud pit. We'll go in there and we will run into all sorts of trouble. So going uphill and it is pulling uphill. No issues with that. It has got the top engine in there. Oh, nearly got a bit of air off there then. So yeah, flat eight, it goes pretty well. So we go and hit the mud. Whoa. And that's not too bad through that bit there. And that's in the auto as well, so it's, it's getting through there okay. There's quite a few rocks and stuff in that bit. You can see, as soon as it raises up, those wheels slightly tuck in. Now, I can remember where uh, Wednesday and Bring It Out, a lot of people were saying, oh, the suspension's not working, and it's all this, and it's like, no. It's the way it's designed. It's got nothing to do with the way the mod's made. It's the way, basically, if, if it gets lifted up, those axles drop down. Simple as that. So that doesn't go too bad. The only downside about it is the steering is shite, really. I should have tweaked that a little bit more. To be fair, last time, well, I've had this for a couple of weeks um, and on PC and I thought they'd tweak it, and it looks like they haven't done anything to it. Right, let's go back to the 805. Now it's actually out of the mud. And I'll tell you what, we're not gonna put it through that mud yet. Let's just go and check out this suspension. You can see it's got quite a bit of poke to it. Where you see, whoa, we've got a little bit of power there, which is um, very rare. For a DLC vehicle, most of the time, most of the base game trucks are really underpowered, but well, it's not really soaking those uh, rocks up really, it's just bouncing over the top. Oh, that's a little bit better, I suppose. Let's go into a bit of control. All right, I'll take that back. It's not bouncing so badly, but it is. There's just not a huge amount of suspension travel on it, but then again, it's not very high, is it? So let's take it into the auto. And you see, as soon as you put it into the auto, it is flying. Now, I haven't had to go with a high range on it yet. But you can see, we have plenty of power. Well, see, this is what I find with the steering. It's just all over the shop. Now, I'm not sure if that's me or what. I really don't know. Now, if, you, if you've had a go with this, let me know in the comments if you're um, struggling with the steering because last time I come up here, I could not keep it in a straight line. And you see, I'm struggling now, where you just try and keep it straight, get it all lined up. Right, so going downhill, that is straight. 
more or less as soon as and then we need a little tweak to the left a little to the right and that wasn't so bad but I just find it very very hard to keep in a straight line oh and that is screwed that up that is game over because of course we haven't got autonomous winch or anything with that one have we but there you go so we're gonna have to get back in the T813 and get on a bit of a recovery but I, I do like that skin a little bit different looks like it's a buffalo on there yeah and I've very kindly found oh there's a uh, that never mind get out of that stump but see the steering on it well you, you can see we should be able to notice the steering coming up to this next point just up here because if you get to, sort of normally you get to I don't know probably about here and start turning oh and it does turn in it does it's just if you're trying to do a tight turning radius you are going to struggle so let's put it up on this slope and see if it's going to tip over or not oh bugger yes it will tip over right well that is me absolutely screwed up the mod review we've got two vehicles down now but what can you do no autonomous winch especially for the 805 that should have a autonomous winch but what can you do so overall what do i think about it well they have got some issues the steering's not great on this one the other one's a little bit squirrely on the steering on the 805 so would i recommend it probably wouldn't bother but uh, entirely up to you it's part of the season pass anyway for year two so it will be free to anyone if you've got that so we'll leave it there for today thanks for watching this first look mod review on the tatra jewel pack i hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did i will see you on the next one big thanks for watching